Hey team, Professor Blowers here. Today we are working on 5G sports programs. And uh, the first order of business, the first step, though it's worth zero points, open up uh, Excel 5G sports programs and then display the Valley Park West worksheet, which I have here. Uh, you also have sports season and stipends by group worksheets. You're going to have the Valley Park West worksheet. This is step two. Click into cell A1. And you're going to select the range A1 through J40. So press Shift and then click on J40 to select the entire range. And then click the Insert tab. I'm already there. Tables group. Click the Table button. Okay, and then you want to make sure that your table does have headers. And then you click OK. And we have our table. And then in our Table Styles group, you're in the Table Design tab right now, uh, click this button right here, the More button, and it says the third row, one, two, three, apply the fourth style, which is this one, light orange, table style, light 17. The instructions indicate that you can uh, choose another style, uh, but I think it's best to just follow what the book has here. And then we are on to step number three. And so for the next step here, with the range still selected, A1 through J40, Make sure that we have it all selected, and we do. Click on the Data tab up at the top, and then in the Sort and Filter group, you'll click the Sort button. And the first thing we'll sort by will be Campus. So click and select here, Campus, Sort On. It'll default to Cell Values. And then under Order, we're going to make a custom list, all right? And so over in List Entries, you'll type Valley, comma, Park, comma, West, all capitalized. Add this list, click OK, and then we'll add another level. We're on step three, just a heads up. Then we'll sort it by the sport group, on cell values, A to Z, yep. Add another level, and this level will be by program name, cell values, A to Z, and then we should be good there. And that's step three. Notice the differences. And now step four is only worth, uh, well, only, it's worth 10 points, and it's a quick one. So we were on Valley Park West. Click over to Sports Season Comparison and select this range, Alpha 6 through Gamma 7. Copy it and paste it up here in A1, Alpha 1, so it looks like this. And select the title. We'll rename it to Criteria. And then after this, we select the range A2, Alpha 2, down through Gamma 3. And we will name this range, and you'll do this in the name box, which is right up here uh, above the A column. Select it, and we'll name this range Criteria. Press Enter, and now we have that named range right up here in our name box. And step number five, also worth 10 points and pretty similar. So on sports season comparison, uh, on that tab, do the same thing. Go ahead and copy the range A1 through Gamma 2, and then scroll down to the bottom. Click into A36, Alpha 36, and paste that. And we want to change the title to Fall-Summer Sports Season. And then we have two more ranges to name. We've got A37 through G37, which is just this down here, A37 through G37. In the name box, we will call it Extract. Press Enter. And then we have A30, I'm sorry, A7 through G34. So go ahead, click A37, scroll down through G, Gamma, 34. And up in the name box, we will name that database. Press Enter. And then we are on to step number six. And so for step six, we're going to do an advanced filter. And this is really uh, handy, pardon me. What you'll do, um, the information that we want to extract is for the primary season, we'll keep that as the fall. And the secondary season, we'll, we'll type in summer. Press Enter. And then from there, you should be on the Data tab. If you're not, go ahead and click in there. In the Sort and Filter uh, group, click Advanced. We'll copy it to another location. And just make sure your list range, criteria range, and copy to match up with this. 
and we're going to copy it to A37 through G37 and go ahead and click OK. Scroll down and what you'll notice is we only have the information that includes the fall as a primary season and summer as the secondary season. Step number seven. And so the next order of business on step number seven, click on the stipends by group tab and then click anywhere in the table. From here, there's uh, in the sort and filter group, you'll click the sort button. Pardon me, click the sort button. And first you'll sort by group. Keep everything else the same. We'll add a level and then we will uh, sort then by coach stipend. Keep it on value, smallest to largest, click OK. And then we are done with step number seven. Let's scroll down. Next step will be number eight right here. For step number eight, you will make sure that you've clicked in the table. You're on the data tab and over, um, click the outline drop down button and then you'll click subtitle. And this is really handy. Make sure that you have coach stipend selected and you'll make sure that it will change instead of group number, it'll subtotal the change in group. And notice what happens here, click OK. And so it will total up all the subtitles for the court, for the field. Oh, we've got hashtags, we've got a pound symbol. And our grand total, if we wanna know the grand total and we need to know the value in cell D32, you want to, in between uh, cells D and E, or even C and D, display this cursor, click twice, pardon, twice, there you go, and then that'll work. Our grand total should come up as 286,250, and from here we can move on to step number nine, in which we will start by clicking on the Valley Park West worksheet. We'll pick up there in just a moment. And real quick, actually, before we move on, we need to do one thing on our stipends by group tab. So go ahead, click back there, and we're going to minimize all of these on the left hand side so that only the totals are visible, just like this. And then we're good to move on to step number nine. And the first step is going to be um, we're going to go into cell J1, so Valley Park West tab. J1, right here, coach. We'll get to that in just a moment. So up here in J1, on the Insert tab, you'll, uh, in the Links group, go ahead and click Link, and all the way down at the bottom, you'll click Insert Link. And mine automatically came here because I've been working in this folder, um, but you'll want to find the folder that you downloaded this in and uh, you'll click on the coach information Excel spreadsheet button. Um, but before you click OK, you need to insert a screen tip, which is really handy. So click the screen tip button, and what you'll want to type is, click here, capital C, click here for contact information. No period, leave it as such, click OK, and then you'll go ahead and click OK one more time, and you'll notice in J1, coach is turned into a hyperlink. Hover over it, and we just type that. Click here for contact information. And when you do, you can test it out. Go ahead and click that link, and it'll open up this uh, Excel spreadsheet that we have, uh, came with our grader file. And uh, it's a really handy way to hyperlink to other Excel spreadsheets within Excel. Uh, that said, we don't really need this for anything. So you can close that. Um, be sure that you're saving, and then we're going to move on to step number 10, in which we're going to select all three worksheets. It's uh, just, wow, this is a 23-point problem, uh, so we'll get to that in just a moment. So what we'll do is uh, go ahead and click the first sheet, press your shift button, and click over on to the stipends by group, and that'll select all three worksheets at once. Once you're there, uh, click the Page Layout tab, and then up at the top in the Page Setup group, you're going to click this button right here, this Page Setup More button, and that'll open up this box. Click Header Footer, click the Header Footer tab, and then go down, and you're going to do a Custom Footer. Over in the left section, this button here will insert the file name, and then in the right section, click into the right section, and then just to the right of that is insert sheet name. 
it should show up as tab and then you'll click OK from here. Then you'll click your margins tab up at the top and you want to center it on page horizontally. Click your page tab and you want to make sure you click fit to under the scaling group and it'll default to one to one as it should. And then go ahead, you click OK. And uh, let's see here, up in the Themes group, so Page Layout tab, Themes group, you're looking for the one that says Slice. You'll click that, and from here, you want to change the Fonts theme to Corbell. Step number 11 asks us to um, display the workbook properties, so click on the File tab, and then down in the Info group, on the right hand side will be your properties. Go ahead, click show all properties. And in the tags area, we will type, I believe it's sports programs. Down in the, let's see here, subject, our course name, uh, our subject, is, or I'm sorry, our course is BTS 165. Uh, and then for the author, we're going to remove, so uh, right click or control click right here. We want to remove Go Series as the author. So again, in the Go Series, right click, remove person, and then add an author. I'm going to add myself, but you can add yourself as well. William Blowers. Let me do a quick search. Huh, it's not finding me. Oh, there we go. It's added me. So go ahead, add yourself, and... Uh, that, well, from here, we'll upload the file and see our score. Now, this is where we downloaded the grader file. This is where we'll upload it for credit. So we just finished step number two here. We'll upload the assignment to my lab IT. This one's mine right here. Click the upload button when it's at 100%. You will submit it for grading. Keep in mind, you uh, get unlimited attempts at this. So you are welcome to turn it in as many times as you'd like. And, all right, so 90%. Anything above a 90 is worth a 100%. Let's have a look at the feedback. This is how you can get feedback on 5G. Click the three vertical dots and then click View Submissions. And there's a couple of ways that this can be done. Uh, the first way is, um, I did check twice, so click the submission that you want to check. And then wait a moment as it loads. And then you can scroll down right here and see which steps. It looks like I did not, oh, interesting. It looks like it didn't register my sort, step number three. So what I can do is um, I can go back, I can click this drop down right here, and we can see specifically what did not happen on that step. Oh, you know what, I know what happened, is I clicked Control Z a few times, and when I went back and I did Control Z, it deleted that custom list that I made. So I'll have to go back and fix that. Um, but I just remembered what happened. Phew, I was a little bit worried. Uh, another way that you can check for feedback is on the right-hand side. Download this. It's the live comments report. And that'll uh, download an Excel spreadsheet for you to look at. That is essentially your submission, but with comments. And it'll let you know where you uh, need to improve your work. You can click specifically on each of the tabs, and it'll tell you, like, for instance, if I didn't minimize all of these, it would have made a comment letting me know that. I'm trying to figure my um, list and where it marked me down, but you can use all of these details right here down to the specific row, how to... Um, get your points back and then resubmit for a higher grade because you can turn this in as many times as you'd like and as long as you get above a 90% that'll be worth 100. So hope you learned a lot.